after four months, it is finally time to get that multiplayer update we have all been waiting for. Yes, Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord have their biggest update for the multiplayer so far. There are a few single player stuff being added in, but that's not what I'm going to be focusing on today. So if you're in a clan, if you're with other people, or you just missed the multiplayer experience of Warband, I think Bannerlord has something to offer. It's not quite to the peak yet of where it's going to be, but they've added some really interesting cool new features that some of which Warband never even had. This is Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord's massive multiplayer update. It is finally out. After two years of work, my debut single is here. You can stream it on all platforms and of course go and watch the official music video over on my YouTube channel. So click the links below and go and stream the hell out of exile. Now, since launch of the Early Exodus, of course, they've been working to improve the combat of the multiplayer. One of the biggest issues that I had with the multiplayer, and I made this in a separate video, was it was nothing special. It was just like another multiplayer of any other game with skirmishes, team deathmatch, siege, and that sort of thing. And while it's cool in this medieval setting with the Mountain Blade combat mechanics, there's nothing that new about it. And it was my worry that so many people would pick up the game and then they would just never really use the multiplayer. Because I'm sure there's a lot of people that have just come into the Mountain Blade franchise that maybe never played Warband's multiplayer to its fullest. And don't understand why multiplayer is such a massive part of the Mountain Blade franchise. But it looks like that Banlord have addressed this issue. And it looks like it's heading in the correct direction. They have a new tool where combat mechanics and changes can be done whilst on the fly. Having testers from clans and other people that are used to the combat going into battles and trying to work out where the exploits are, what works well, what doesn't. They can then change these parameters and things on the fly, being able to change the classes, how they work, how each weapon works, how people interact with each other and how things like the objectives as well work throughout the battle, all can be changed while the players are playing with some of the developers. This means that you don't have to, you know, relaunch or reload the game and then having to play again, see what's wrong. Okay will change that bit, relaunch, reload the game. This can all be done whilst people are playing, which means they've been able to be very efficient with how they've been upgrading and improving on the combat in multiplayer. These are some things that you might not notice because they might just be small tweaks, but some of the Mountain Blade veterans who are very used to the Warband combat mechanics might notice a few extra tweaks and things coming in this next update. But here is where it gets interesting. Here is where it gets really big. There is now introducing a Bannerlord ID system, much like there was in Warband, where you load into a game and you can create a profile. You can choose a name for your profile and that will display as your name in game, instead of previously, which was your Steam name, which made it kind of annoying because when you wanted to join a clan, you'd have to completely change your Steam name. And for someone like me, who my Steam name is almost my brand or my YouTube channel, it's kind of a pain because I don't really want to make a clan and have to change my name to Resident of this clan. Now I can just do it in the game, so my name is just that in game, which is awesome. But it goes a bit further than this. You don't even have to put the tags of your clan in your Bannerlord ID. They've actually implemented clans itself in the multiplayer. Something that Warband never did. You just had to put your clan tags and you, of course the sigil that you were using in your actual profile, but now you can do it separately. In the game you can now make your own clan in multi player. This could be with just a few friends or on a big scale like you had in Warband. Being able to create this clan for multiplayer use. You can choose the name for the clan, you can choose a tag for the clan and of course a sigil. The tag will display next to your name when you're in battle and of course the sigil as well. You'll also be able to choose a preferred faction to play as in that clan. From there, you can invite people to that clan. There's then an in-game homepage for your clan with a description and an announcements tag. So anyone you invite to your clan can see this description and the announcements. Maybe you want to put your Discord or your team speak in the description. When you have clan battles or trainings, you can then put, hey, we've got a training now. Not only do you do that through the Steam group if you still want to do it third party externally through Steam, but you can do that in the game now through an announcement tab in Mountain Blade 2. Bannerlord. Of course, this can be done with the clan leaders. Once you invite people to your clan, they'll have their own Bannerlord ID, but once they're in the clan, they'll then be given that clan tag. Furthermore, there is a clan leaderboard that can track the matches in the game. 
you can see how many you've won, how many you've lost. I don't think it'll be pretty detailed at the moment. I'm not entirely sure how that's going to work because is it only going to count the ones that you do as a full clan party or maybe just the leader who goes into a game, which would be a bit strange because, of course, they might just want to go into a game off on their own. Who knows? But I guess we'll get more information on that. And with a bit of testing, I guess we'll find out that will later be improved they've said with some ranking systems and things like that maybe some competitive sides to it as well so you can go into more competitive games or casual games with your clan depending on which one you'd rather do now the one thing that everyone really wants are custom servers being able to buy a private server put your own mods on it put your own custom maps on it be able to get on with a clan and things like that unfortunately we don't have that just yet but we have the next best thing if you want to go into a game with your clan you invite them all to your clan into your party and then you'll search as a clan for a match you can then be partnered up with other people or if another clan has the same parameters and the same amount of people or similar sort of stuff it will then the game allocate an official server for you two clans to go up against each other so you can pretty much have these clan battles unfortunately it's not quite as customizable as custom servers with custom maps and things like that but hopefully that will come later and for now i think this is a really good middle ground and a way to do it and especially if this is done in a competitive light they'll add casual and competitive clan battle matchmaking which i think will be really cool furthermore we have a report system so if you're in a game someone's doing something cheating just being a bit racist you can report them that's a nice thing to always have but finally, we have two new maps. We have Echoron, which is looks to be a more Empire-based map, a bit like the Empire one we have at the moment. These are mostly for skirmish, though. It looks more of a city going through to different plazas and plateaus, but you have canals leading through as well, adding a bit more close combat base rather than the further ranged sort of stuff. But that is where Port of Omol comes in. It's more of an open fishing village. It looks more of the Batanian side or the Sturgeon side. You'll be fighting on either side of a fishing village with towns, huts, and things to go between that's pretty much everything that has been added in i can't wait to get my hands on this especially the clan stuff i'm gonna look into seeing if i can actually start building clan stuff at the moment if it's possible there'll probably be a few announcements on this channel eventually but we're gonna do it slowly to start with if you guys enjoy this video make sure you click that like button and subscribe to the channel but until then i will see you in the next one